Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve a common Windows 10 or Windows 11 error message. This is so we can't find your camera. Check to make sure that it's connected and installed properly, that it isn't being blocked by antivirus software, and that your camera drivers are up to date. If you need it, here's the error code 0XA00F4289. Active camera unplugged, and then parentheses 0XC00D3EA2. So hopefully that should be a pretty straightforward tutorial. Hopefully it should be easier than me reading out that error message. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing we're going to do is start by opening up the search menu. Type in settings. Best match should come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the left side, go ahead and select privacy and security. And now directing our attention over to the right, you want to go ahead and scroll down to camera underneath app permissions. You want to make sure camera access, the master control is turned on here. And then if there was a particular app that you were experiencing this issue with, again, make sure that they are toggled to the on position. So again, pretty straightforward process on that, guys. And something else we can try as well if we close out of here and open up the search menu. Type in services. Best match should come back with services listed right above app. Go ahead and open that up. And we're going to make this window a little bit wider here. Uh, didn't have to make it that large for that column. But I'm just going to make this window a little wider. And you want to go down to the Windows Camera Service. So the full name, there's a couple of them, Windows Camera Frame Server. And there's a Windows Camera Frame Server Monitor. Go ahead and double click on them and set both of them to start type automatic and then start the service. And you would do that for both services listed in here. Again, you're going to set both of them to automatic start of type and go ahead and start the service. Apply and OK to save that. And once you're done with that, go ahead and close out of here. What's the just restart your computer? And hopefully that should have resolved your problem at this time. One further thing you can try, again, this will be specific on a case-by-case -case basis because there's so many different antiviruses out there, but check to see if there's any antivirus logs that are detecting your camera when you're trying to open up your camera. This might be more of an issue if you're using an external camera that plugs into a USB port. So make sure your antivirus isn't blocking it if it's possible, and then set an exclusion for it if it is. So it's certainly something to take a look into. But other than that, pretty straightforward process here, guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.